Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day. I just wanted to hop on and do a very quick book review on this year, Homo Sapiens Rediscovered. This is by Paul Pettit, who is a renowned Paleolithic archaeologist. So I was quite excited to see what he wanted to project and um, portray to um, people who don't necessarily have a, a specialty or even necessarily an interest or understanding of what's going on um, during this period of time known as the Paleolithic. Um, and how our species evolved. So this book um, was published last year in 2022. So this is currently the most up-to-date book uh, for a general audience on um, the corpus of evidence for um, uh, what we know about Homo sapiens during this period of time. So he looks at our earliest evolution in, in Africa from preceding hominins, um, and then ultimately our dispersal out of Africa and our migration across the globe into Europe, Asia, um, South uh, Australia, and ultimately the Americas. So he looks at, you know, groundbreaking DNA evidence to track these migrations, how it happened, what groups of populations interbred with one another and when, um, and also are interbreeding with other hominin species during um, this period because we weren't the only um, species of, of hominins on the block at this time. So looking at our interactions, while well, very briefly he examines what potentially our interactions with Neanderthals and Denisovans might have been, but he definitely presents the DNA evidence and um, what sort of influence um, the, the interbreeding um, episodes between Denisovans and Neanderthals and our own species would have had on our own genome. So um, w the, the Paleolithic um, is the period that he's focusing on, and this is a huge expanse of time. We're going back millions and millions of years to roughly 13, 10,000 years ago um, uh, at the transition to the Holocene epic. Um, this book, while he does, um, as I mentioned, look at our earliest origins in Africa, um, this book, I would say, mainly focuses on a chunk of time known as the Upper Paleolithic because there's a lot of, um, there, there's a proliferation of, of evidence of that, that we see during this time period that really shows some interesting things about the evolution of, of Homo sapiens, so our sociality, um, our interactions with one another, um, what sort of uh, empathy and compassion um, we had, uh, evidence for ritual, art, um, you know, uh, our, our treatment of the dead, what sort of things were, were happening based on the, the archaeological evidence that, that we have. So it, I did feel like I was back in the classroom. It did follow sort of a standard curriculum um, that I, I've, I've, um, you know, a, a course on on this period of time that um, that I would have taken. But I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Like I say, this book is for a general audience, and I think it was very good of him to stick to this sort of style of of teaching. Um, and on that subject, I think what he did do was a, a great job of explaining things and um, translating specialist knowledge into something very easy to understand that is digestible to, for people who have absolutely no understanding of what the Paleolithic is or what's going on at this period of time. So I think you could literally pick up this book and he would be able to explain things to you so that you didn't feel like you had to do necessarily your own research to look up certain things uh, just to follow along. So I think he did do a good job with that. I think normally when specialists in a particular field do write to general audiences, it's somehow it's somewhat difficult to strike a balance between being too general and too specialist, but also not. I think it's almost unavoidable to use patronizing language sometimes because, um, like I say, they are trying to to explain things to people who don't have that that knowledge. And I think he, he manages to avoid that. Um, I, there are some memoir elements in this book, which I personally enjoyed. He's had an influence um, in the interpretation and, and the discovery of, of some of the things that are discussed within here. So I think he's allowed to brag a little bit. Um, but I, I, I personally enjoyed um, the moments where they discuss how they felt uh, when they made certain discoveries or what they were doing at that time. So for me, that was that was enjoyable. But if you're just here for the facts, that might bother you. But um, other than that, I think that this is a 
I, th I think this is a great starting point for anyone who wants to um, learn about this period of time or has an interest in um, the origins of, of our species um, but doesn't really know where to start. Like I say, this is very recent. It's probably the most up-to-date up body of, of evidence that you can find um, as an introductory piece on, on um, Homo sapiens and, and the, the period of time that I've just discussed. So I did read this for Historathon 2023, which is a year-long reading event created by Vin over at Revenant Reads and co-hosted by the lovely people that I will, uh, whose names I'll leave in the description. So this is a year-long reading event where all you have to do to participate is read one piece of history nonfiction in one of the quarters um, that are also listed in the description below. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed that review. If you have any questions, let me know and uh, let me know if you decide to pick this up or if you're reading anything else for Historathon 2023. And if you're watching the Super Bowl later, enjoy. Um, it's going to be on too late here. Uh, so I will just be watching the rugby instead. <laughs> so have a good day, everyone, and speak to y'all later. Bye.